Um, I am going to show, show you how to throw a jar. So there are different types of lid body configurations. So the type of lid I'm going to make is, uh, requires a gallery, which is this ledge or shelf that the lid will sit on. With making jars, it's important that the, you have enough clay for the body as well as the lid from the same uh, chunk of clay. Um, if you are going to use clay from two, two bags, the problem is, is that the water content between the bags might be a little bit different and that's going to affect shrinkage. So that could cause a problem with the lid being the proper size for the jar. So what I like to do is cut enough clay for a couple of lids and set that aside. And making the body, it's basically a cylinder or a vase shape. So I check, check the thickness of the floor and it's, it's pretty good. It's about half an inch thick. I've compressed the floor well. When I do my poles, I like to keep the rim on the thick side, um, and that's because I'm going to end up splitting the rim in half. So the rim's pretty thick here. I'm going to splitting the rim in half and laying the inner part of it over to create that gallery.
So what I'm going to do is slice this rim in half. And I'm going to, I hope this makes sense. The, um, you want to take a note of the angle that the rim goes up. Uh, it's fine if the rim is flared or if it's vertical or if it uh, tapers in. Um, but what you want is that the, this wooden knife slice through um, at the same angle that the, the rim is, uh, is moving up. Uh, that way you're slicing through the wall instead of slicing half the wall off and that loose piece falling in or falling out. So, okay, so I've sliced into there. Use a little bit of water, and then that just allows me to lay that inner part down. Just flare the top part out a little bit. I like to make sure that this this uh, lower part, the, the gallery, is down low enough to accommodate the lid. Um, if it's too shallow, then perhaps the top of the lid might, um, when you look at the pot from the side, maybe the, the lid will hang over, um, not over, be, but be higher than this room. And it may look a little peculiar. So if you look at this lid, see how the, the lid is recessed from the lip, and I think that it gives a better profile, better look to the pot. So it's not really a functional issue, but more of an aesthetic concern. Okay, so after, but after you've, you've thrown this, you want to use your calipers, and you're measuring just this inner part. Okay, let's see, make sure that's tight. Okay, and this distance is exactly the same as this distance. So we'll save that. Clean this up and then we'll make the lid. that slip in water. Alright, and we'll free it from the that. Okay. So we're done with this. sort of pot, um, you can do it a couple of different ways. You can make sure I have enough clay. You can throw the lid uh, right side up, throwing solid. What's nice about making the lid right side up is that you have a better, um, you can see the proportion, you can see what the lid will end up looking like on the pot. So you're working right side up. After I throw this, I'll show you how to throw a lid upside down and just talk quickly about the advantages and disadvantages. Enough. 
I prefer using, uh, having more clay than I need versus not enough. So you can always remove the excess. I like to scrub a line that's uh, wider than I need and then gradually move it in. Okay, so that's perfect. So that's a, a lid with handle or knob intact. So the other kind of lid will be thrown upside down. I think for that pot, just throwing the lid right side up uh, is simpler. And I'm trying to think about, are there any pluses to, to making this particular lid upside down? I can't really think of anything because both lids will uh, require some trimming anyhow. With this particular um, lid, I'm going to leave the floor quite thick. And then once it's rather hard, I can flip the lid over and I can trim clay away to uh, reveal or to carve out a knob handle. So basically, I'm throwing a bowl. got enough clay here.
that big. Okay, that's it. Uh, we'll let this get to uh, leather hard, or, uh, the body as well as the lids, then we'll trim them.